In order to find open to worst candidates on LinkedIn, you have two options. First one is to use the LinkedIn recruiter open to work search filter, but this option is really expensive. And the second one is to use the sales navigator search filters and this option is much cheaper. In this video, I will describe in detail the two techniques so you can choose which one is the best for your business. Let's dive right in. The first option you have to find open to work candidates on LinkedIn is to use LinkedIn recruiter, but you can see that this is gonna cost you a lot of money. So you have access to a free trial for LinkedIn Recruiter. If you click on work here and then talent solution, you can have one month free trial, but you're gonna have access to a Recruiter Lite and not Recruiter Premium. So, um, so with the Recruiter Lite search filters, you don't have access to the open to work filter. So you have access to job title, location, candidate school, you have graduation, um, seniority, job function, etc. But if you want to have access to the open to work filter, so in one click, you can see all the people that are open to work on LinkedIn, you will need to upgrade to uh, the recruiter premium offer of LinkedIn. And this costs $835 per month. So this is a pretty huge uh, budget. And you can see that here I got the spotlight section and the open to work filter is supposed to be on the spotlight section. And when you upgrade to LinkedIn Recruiter, here I'm on Recruiter Lite, which costs $170 per month. So if I click on Spotlight here, learn more, um, I can see that LinkedIn Recruiter give me access to six more filters and the open to work filters. If you read this, this Spotlight highlights candidates who match your search criteria and have indicated that they are open to hearing from recruiters. So once you have upgraded your account, the filter open to work will be available on the left and you will see that all the candidates on your search result will have the mention open to work here. So this is a really a quick and easy way to filter open to work candidates. You can have the option to in one click get all the people that have declared themselves open to work, but you're going to have to pay $835 per month. So if you have this budget, could be a good option. If you don't have this budget, I have another option for you. The second option you have to find people looking for jobs on LinkedIn is to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And this option is much cheaper because it costs only $99 per month. So compared to the $835 of recruiter, this is much lower. If you don't have a Sales Navigator account yet, no problem. You just need to click on work here and then find leads, and then you'll be able to enjoy one month free trial for Sales Navigator. There are four techniques to find open to works candidates on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and the first one is to use the current job title filter. So I am on Sales Navigator right now, and you can see all the filters available on the left, and we are going to use the current job title filter. So the thing is that when people are looking for jobs on LinkedIn, there are a ton of people that are adding, looking for jobs, or open to work, on their job title. So if I go on the job title feature here and write open to work, I'm going to see 1500 people that have added open to work to their job title here. So open to work, seeing opportunities, open to work, open to work, etc. So these people are saying in their job title that they are looking for a new job. And you can do the same with like uh, looking for a job, for example, and you can see that here I added 7,000 results. And basically you can play with this filter by adding other expression like seeking opportunities and stuff like that. And here you can see that seeking opportunities I've added 8,000 results. And by the way, instead of uh, writing all uh, these expressions separately, you can use Boolean search to write one simple query and to just copy paste it uh, into the current job title filter. So I've added it in the description. You can simply take it and copy paste it into the job title filter. So if you don't know what Boolean search is, you can check the, this video that will appear here where I explain how Boolean search works. But basically, it's a really simple programmatic language that you can use to give simple orders to uh, the LinkedIn algorithm and uh, do super precise searches on LinkedIn. And here I'm looking for people that have added open to work to the job title or looking or seeking and job or, or opportunity or opportunities. So basically I'm looking for open to work or looking and job, looking and opportunity 
looking in opportunities and seeking job, seeking opportunity, seeking opportunities. So I'm looking for a lot of different expression here in just you know, one sentence. So if you want to learn more about how to use Boolean search, I highly advise you to check the video that appeared just uh, 30 seconds before. So if I click here on Hunter, I'm going to see all the different expressions. I get 42,000 results. And here I have seeking new opportunities, looking new opportunities, looking new opportunities, open to work, seeking new opportunities, currently seeking new opportunities, etc. So all the different expressions I have added here are appearing on my search results. So you can make a list of all the expressions that are often used by your ideal candidates in their job titles and add them into a Boolean search you can use every time you are looking for candidates on Sales Navigator. And pro tip for you guys, you can also exclude job titles. So I know that some of you uh, want to exclude freelancers from the, um, from the churches. So if you want to make freelancer disappear from your search results, you can simply write freelancer or freelance here and then click on the icon. And once it turns red, it means that this result will be eliminated from your search results. So you are sure that there are no freelancers in this list. The second technique is pretty similar to the first one, but we are going to use the keyword filter instead of the current job title filter to have more results. So here I'm looking for developers. So I've written developer and uh, in the current job title filter and I've copy pasted the exact same expression in the keyword filter here. And this filter will look not only in the job titles, but in all the profile. That is to say all the text that is written on the page. So the headline, the about section, the job titles, the job description, the skills, um, even the interest to any text that is written on the LinkedIn profile of a LinkedIn member. And this type of searches can be really useful because not uh, all the people that are looking for a job are adding, looking for a job in their job titles. Maybe they are only mentioning it on the job description or in their about section. So here on the first page, you can see that for, for example, looking for a part-time job here is written on the first result. But if I go on the second page, here you can see regular job titles with no mentions of looking for a job. So let's take profile in this list, like senior full stack PHP web developer. And we can see that there is no mention of open to work or looking for a job uh, in this job title. So let's click here on the profile, open the profile, open the about section, and we are going to look for some keywords. So with control plus F, so I can see that there is no open to work, maybe sticking, okay, one sticking found. So you can see that the keyword filter has allowed me to dig deeper into the LinkedIn profile to see if this person was open to new opportunities. So this technique will give you much more results, but it will also give you false positives. So let's take another profile here, William McDuff, and open the about section, control F, and like looking, and here I can see, I am always looking for opportunities to work with creative people. So here we got the keywords, but this person is not looking for a job, is looking to meet new people. So in your search results, you're gonna have uh, many false positives like that. So if you use the keyword search, uh, make sure to double check the profiles because if you shoot randomly every people in this list, you are sure that you will have at least 30% false positives, meaning people that are appearing on your list, but are not really looking for a job. So you can understand that the job title filter give less result, but the results are more relevant. And the keyword filter give more result, but the results are less relevant. So you have to make a choice between quantity and quality. The third technique is to look for job seekers LinkedIn groups. So there are a lot of job seekers LinkedIn group on LinkedIn. And what you can do is simply write the job title you are looking for. So here I've had it developer and then expand the filters, look for the group filters, and here write like job seekers. Here, for example, I have job seekers in Tokyo, Japan. And I can see that I have 
74 developers that are member of this group. So if I'm looking for, you know, candidates, developers in Japan, I can totally send a message to them saying that, you know, hey, I see that you are a member of this group. I currently have some opportunities in these companies, etc. And this make a good icebreaker for your messages. And you can see that there are ton of groups. And even if I write open to work, I have groups as well. And sometimes the location is really precise, like here, open to work in uh, Liverpool. And I think you can even write for jobs, maybe like developer job seekers. Right here, iOS developer job seekers UK. So you can look for the job title inside the group name. Last technique you can use is to find company pages that gather job seekers. So this is a little hack that you can use because uh, there are some company pages that are like unofficial pages that have been created by some people and uh, some job seekers like to add them, link them uh, to their profile when they are looking for a job. So here, if I go on the current company filter and I write like open to work, there are like you no know, unofficial company pages that are not real companies. And if I here click on a company page, here you can see that this is simply a page, you know, to gather people looking for jobs. Description is remote work, work from home and flexible job opportunities. And I can see that. 546 people have linked their profile to this company page. So here, basically, I have potentially, you know, more than 500 people uh, looking for a job. And you can see here that they are like added um, this company page here. Data analysts open to work looking for a job as if it was a real company. So yeah, you can try to play uh, with the keywords like you can write open to work uh maybe looking for a job as well like this one here looking for a job if i delete this one and i click here here i can see yeah more than 400 people as well so this can be a pretty good source for to find ideal candidates as well and obviously you can also add other filters on top of that like a job title for example if you are happy with your search result and you want to get them uh, into a CSV file and find the emails of the candidate to start the outreach. You can totally do that with the Evaboot Chrome extension. This is really simple, only two clicks. So here I have a list. I simply click on extract with Evaboot here. It will open a new uh, window. I just need to name uh, the search here and click on extract and Evaboot will extract all the data available on LinkedIn for these candidates. So I will open a random file to show you what data is extracted by Evaboot. So basically you get a first name, last name, position, company name, website, domain, etc., industry. So basically everything that is available on LinkedIn. And the interesting thing for recruiters is that Evaboot will also uh, tell you if the candidates here are open to work. So we will get the information on the profile. So you won't be able to filter on open to work but you can see here that after you made the list and you extracted it, you can see if uh, the candidate has activated the option uh, open to work on its profile. You can see that here the extraction is already finished. And if you want to find the emails of these candidates, you can simply click on find emails here and reach all leads and Evaboot will add the emails for all the people in your list. And by the way, if you are a recruiting business, know that Sales Navigator can help you generate leads. I made a 40 minute tutorial to explain everything you need to know about Sales Navigator to close more deals and you can access it by clicking on the video just right here. I wish you a great day guys and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.